accept airplanes and flying as a regular part of travel today. We don't even bother to look up when an airplane flies overhead. Yet a hundred years ago, airplanes were viewed as feats of amazing engineering and skill, and certainly not for the faint of heart. Today, however, air shows over Daytona Beach draw crowds into the thousands with jets and props whirling the loop-de-loops so easily, almost without effort. Back then, a hundred years ago, flying was a new sport. And with rud their rudimentary planes, they could not be compared to ours today. Still, they excited the crowds who gathered to watch those daredevil feats performed by brave pilots. In 1911, the civic leaders of Seabreeze, now Daytona Beach, and the Clarendon Hotel, the Plaza Resort and Spa today, signed a contract for a flying exhibition on the beach as a tourist attraction. What a grand success it was. The following year, in 1912, the Clarendon hired Phil Page to fly the guests for the entire season from January right through to April. The planes could take off and land right there on the beach in front of the Clarendon. And why not on the beach? After all, the beach bathed in ocean water twice daily with the tides glistening its flat, smooth, cement-like surface. Can you see it? Hear the engines roar right along with the crashing of the waves. Feel the exhilaration. The hotel and the beach area are packed with people and guests to catch a ride. <laughs> Ruth Law wanted to learn to fly. She had an adventurous spirit and what some called a boyish or tomboyish demeanor. She approached Orville Wright to register for his flying school. He turned her down saying women were unfit for flying. Did that stop her? Not at all. A woman of substance with more resolve than ever, she bought a right plane from him for $7,500 and registered at another flying school. And that was that. November 20, 1912, Ruth Law became the sixth woman to receive her pilot's license and the Clarendon Hotel hired her. Beginning in 1913, she soared with the guests of the hotel for four seasons. She was the first female to perform a loop-de-loop, -loop, and the crowds roared with approval. In an interview with the Christian Science Monitor, Ruth Law explained to a reporter, in quotes, women have qualities which make them good aviators too. They are courageous self-possessed, clear-visioned, quick to decide in an emergency, and usually they make wise decisions." Unquote. The Clarendon Hotel gave Ruth Law the opportunity to excel and the freedom to fly. Her dreams and beliefs became reality. For 10 years she lived her dream, set records for women, and traveled the world flying in exhibitions. Ruth Law paved the way for all those who were told no by an Orville Wright until they heard yes by a Clarendon Hotel.